Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and this is a first look at Enshrouded. Probably going to do about an hour introduction to it. I played it a little bit just to get the hang of the controls, but other than that, not really much. So come and join me while we explore Enshrouded for the first time. So first things first, we need to pick a character. Yeah, I look nothing like that. <laughs> Is there a short tubby man there? No. <laughs> short tubby man with no hair? No. Then he will do. <laughs> Let's see. What do we do next? E. Oh, his face. There we go. No, I don't like that head. Let's go back to character. I want a different character. What's he like with no hair? Oh dear. Anyone with just a little bit of hair? No facial hair? No, oh, that'll do. Um, no, I'm not grey. No, let's stick bald. Let's stick with bald. We've got facial hair, no facial hair. His chin's a bit too big, but hey, hey ho, never mind. It's definitely not me. The last time I looked like that was about 30 years ago. I like that one. It's more like me. Create your character name. So it is. Uh, gun fly. Dragonfly. Let's play the game. Private game. Let's create that. Play. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people. I didn't read that. The elixir, it was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. A bit like money, really. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Definitely a bit like money. Elixir and blood. A drop for a drop. Gain money. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Embervale. This shroud, a ruinous fog which is sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, humans and ancients united to forge the flameborn. Now your time has come. Awaken. Um, awakened. Come on, okay, here we go. Restors initiative rested inactive. Shelter, warmth, comfort. I've got nothing in my hands. An alt to change the hotbar, okay. Ooh. What's in here? Anything? Anyone in there? No? Grab that one. Oh, that could be good for your hand. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? No? Nobody? Nobody at home? Hello? I guess we're going this way. Cindervale. Can't we remember Vale? Ooh, what was that? Okay. Commune with the flame. Who's... 
He slumbered for far too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world. Construct a flame altar to create a shelter from the dark. So my understanding is this is a little bit like um, Valheim. I played back quite a bit of Valheim um, over the last year or two, I guess. Yeah, I do like the base building side of it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here I can do, is it? No, just punch him and hurt me hand. Put the doors open. Let's go into the great wide yonder. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? it looks pretty. Typical <laughs> gamer. First thing you do is look for something hidden. <laughs> something hidden around the corner. So we've got a marker up the top there, 150-ish meters away. Nothing I can pick up around here. Oh, what's that? String, twigs, plant fiber. Oh, I can make string is that. Let's go listen. Anything else worth picking up around here? No. I can see there's a sign on that pillar there. What's it? A vast world awaits you. Filled with secrets and peril, press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Okay, map. Okay, so that's where we need to go. I'm guessing that's where we are. That's a cinder veil. So how big is this map? Can I navigate with the keys? Oh, seems a fair size. Okay. Escape to close. I'm guessing I haven't, I haven't ordered that marker. I'll just look around for anything else I can pick up before we do that. We're all gamers, we know we like to do it. I must have to go down that way, down that way. This way, is it? No, that's a long way down. Oh, that's a quick way. Oh, hello. You've been sat here a while. You might want to get something to eat. You're looking a bit slim. Um, yeah, that's a long way down. I think I need to go that way. There's a book here. What's that? Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it, protects it in a flame core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours. I think you've already been doing it, mate. Seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, I only speak to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite an enlightened conversation. Balthazar. You got anything on you? Oh, what'd I get? Oh, I got a wand. Can I, can I, can I... Backpack? What's that? Bones. Oh no, that I can make a wand. How to craft the craft there. String. Oh, was that? I missed the first one. Okay, never mind. Alright, it's just basically telling you got to find what you need to make things. So where was that wand? I guess under weapons. Wand, what do I need? Bone, oh, two bones, I've only got one. You only drop one bone. You get a cave, maybe we'll find another one down here. Why aren't you burning? I believe you can smash pretty much everything in this game as well. Trees, can you? It's doing damage to it, but... Let's see if we can just break this tree down. Oh, what was that? Shield, okay. Club, can I make a club? Yes, I can make a club. Let's craft a club. At least that way. Okay, I have two. Can I smash the tree down for quick with a club? Oh, 
No, it seems not. Okay, anything else around here worth breaking, stealing? You know, that's what the first thing you do when you wake up after how many years. You just break everything and steal it. Obviously it's been left there for you to pick up. Oh, what's that? Torch. And a bandage. Okay. Collect, what's that? That is another bandage and another bandage. Me get the impression I'm going to need that. Oh, loot. Stone. Uh, wood bandages. No, no more wood? No. Okay. This looks ominous. Oh, another torch. Okay, so... I'm guessing I'm going to need a torch to see what I'm doing. Is there anything around here? Is it? Oh, they shoot out and uh, light the way for you, don't they? That's quite useful. Okay. Rested because I'm inside, I think. There's something over here, I was just wondering what it was. Is there anything there? No. It's down here. Oh, what's that? Explosive power ball. Use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive power balls can be thrown. Explosive barrels are detonated at range. Okay, so five. Throw. What's that done? Oh, it blew, blew big hole in it. Okay. Hatchet. Damage 11. Yeah, oh, there's a book there as well. What's that? Ode to Pikemen. Gather round, we're drinking. An ode to the Queen once young. Three babes on her arm, cup filled to the brim. Thinking out loud, she sung. Rather mead in my cup, or my cup filled with rum. Drink too much, rather than be done. Can't only have some, so share some around. Drink too much, rather than drink one. Rather mead in my head, or my head on the run, than my head on a pike with none. Get the rum, and the mead, get the mead in the cup. Gather the cup, or your head drunk up. Drink up. Yeah, that's rubbish. I could do a better poem than that. Oh, with another dead person. <laughs> oh, there was a dead person. Do you leave any bones? Oh, yeah, there's bone net. Can I break any of this up? Oh, yeah. More wood. Oh, I've broken my thing nearly. Might have to use a hatchet. Okay, that obviously damages your weapons doing that after you've blown a hole through that already, mate. So I'm guessing I've got to go oh, down here. So what's around here? Anything? Oh, oh no! There's a ladder back up. That's back up where we were, isn't it? That over there. It's dark in here. Oh, another chest. Torch and bandage. Okay. Why do I think I'm going to get beaten up with all these bandages? Oh, it's dark in here. Is that the enshrouded bit on about the cloud or the fog or whatever? I'm 
funny feeling. I'm going to need a weapon. Oh. Inventory. Let me move some of this around. Obviously broken that. Can I make that wand? Wand. Let's craft the wand. Oh yeah, I can roll with a mouse to change um, to my hand. Oh, another torch! A few more bones. Where am I going here? Down here? Oh! No, oh, down here. What's behind there? Oh, we throw it. Ooh. What's that? Oh, it is a fog, so you've only got a limited time to be inside a box of it. Okay, so let's just see if well, we've got to go something down there. It's pulsing. Pulsating. Press tab to lock onto your foe. Control to dodge out of harm's way. But what's that? I don't like pulsing things. Can I do something I want with them? Oh yeah, there we go. There's one from a distance. Okay, not a distance. Okay, well, where's back up? My time was going low. Well, it's not, but it's. Let's just get out of this for a minute. Oh, yeah, my time reset's good. Oh, another one of them things. No, obviously wants to lock onto that. Whatever that is. Get him, get him. Yeah, good, there we go. Runes, shroud spot shroud spores, short sword. Okay. Horrible looking spory things, looks like some kind of mushroom. Oh god, there's more than me here. Okay, let's just try that. That's quicker. Oh, F take all. Does that stop the fog breaking out? I don't think it does, does it? What we've got up here? Anything worth breaking into? Any? That's wood. Don't know if there's anything behind there. Oh, and I'll make rough stone blocks. Old light out here. Let's get out of here. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. I'm assuming that's the return beacon. And it's been lit, okay. So I'm guessing if I die, I'll come back alive here. Probably without all my stuff. Okay. Some runes here, what are they? Fiber, purple berries. No, purple berries. Can you eat purple berries? What's that? 
twigs. Oh. Red mushrooms. Oh, on top one. Oh, honey, honey and wax. Okay. My inventory must get full. Oh no, plenty of space. But the sun is going down. While equipped with a shield or melee weapon, press right mouse with the block. A well timed block will power the attack. Okay. Level up. Okay, how do I level up? I've got a skill point, but I don't know what I could do with it. Um I Character Level two or tribute. Oh skills. Skill oh, okay. Whoa, what is this? Looks like quite a few skills. What's that construction? Increase your construction attribute by one. Increases health by fifty per attribute point. Oh, I need two points to unlock it. Oh, I've got two. So I mean, at the minute, I think uh, a good thing to have would be um, increase our health. Okay, what's that? Uh, shiny plates. Physical armor gains ten percent more armor points. Oh, that needs two to unlock. Merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing the E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they're blocked or by powering their attacks. I think that one. I think that's over... Oh, no, I need two points. Okay. Okay. I won't go for that one. Tell you what. For now, let's just... Increase our health. Okay, well, anything else around here? Anything worth nicking? It's starting to get dark again. It looks very pretty, this game. Oh, is that one I'm going to go to? I think that's where I'm going to be headed. Okay, what's down here? Whoa! 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 Ooh! Fur and meat. Is there anything else down here? Whoa! Uh, meat. Okay. We'll take some of that. Oh, something over there. It's coming after me. Oh, teacher. Where's me glowy bit? There's another bees. I'm too much to bees. Bees nest of some kind. I can hear hounds or wolves or something. What's that glowy thing? Can I get in through there? Oh, I got him! Oh, where am I? What's going on? Oh, there's another one of them blokes there. Come on, I'm getting bum kicked. Water is great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance the stamina and regenerate it, it faster.
Oh, is that just going to my inventory backpack be? Um, oh, there it is. So how do I do that? Alt. Eight. Oh yeah. There's something over there. What is it? Oh, it's another one of them people. Bad guys. Oh, it's quick moving. Anymore? Location reached. Claim a spot for your base. Oh, sun's come up. Build a flame altar journal. Of Is that a cockerel? Oh no, I thought it was a cockerel. The mushroom. Is there any open space around here? What's this it? Oh, shift to sprint. Whoa, what's down there? Oh, more of it. Shroud in some glowy thing. Okay, um, I'm guessing I need to build an altar around here, seeing this is about the only open spot. Can I get rid of that tree? Without breaking my weapon? Well that didn't fall on my head. Okay, I think um, here's a Good a spot as any. How do I build an altar J for journal? The flame altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. Craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. Okay, so as long as it's not in the um, the shroud. F. Our planes for the first bit. Okay, so this is what that would mean. No, oh, what's that over there then? Love letter Queen Jasmina. Monkey. Oh, that's where the ruins are, I think. That's where we came out. Okay. Let's see how to build a flame altar. Crafting. Flame altar. Place this flame altar above the shroud to mark your home. Build inside the marked area around the flame altar. Okay, so it's... Oh, I had the stone too, did So I've built that. Where is it? Let's put that in our hand for now. Four. Oh, that's a marked area. Okay, I see. So I can only build inside that. I'm guessing so. Let's try and get that in a pretty level fl uh, level area. That should probably do. You have to do that there. E commune with the flame. You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside the shroud's grasp. New location, uh, one mark added. Extend the build range. Okay, so you can do something says. And you shrug core to do that. Uh, flame will strengthen the flame. Okay. Increases some things on that, and you need bits and pieces, sparks, and. Reset skill points and you root okay runes. Extinguish the flame, extinguish the flame, remove your flame altar. Be aware areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. 
place items will be lost. Okay, so I don't want to extinguish it. Okay, so what have I got to do now? So I've got a something over there. Let's collect some bits. Oh, some mushrooms. Don't know what I can do with them yet, but. Oh, he's just going to run away from me. Um, yeah, back to you. Oh, for you too. There's a beehive. Oh, bloody. You'd think you get some meat from a wolf, wouldn't you? I assume it's a wolf. Oh, it's a 400 meters away. Where is it? That's miles away over there. Okay, travel through the shroud. To find mushy. There's somebody over there. A firefly lamp, that'll be better than a torch, surely. Um, where is that? Is that in that shroudy bit? Definitely looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, over there somewhere. Brain Bridge. Well, how do I get down there then? I've got to travel through the shroud. What's that up there? There's something here, obviously. What is it? No, give it a clout. Oh, it's a chest. Okay. More bandages. Um, what am I supposed to do from here then? A treacherous chasm. You'll need a grappling hook to cross. Can I build a grappling hook? Crafting. I don't know, build a grappling hook. Well, we'll build rags. Oh, okay. What do I need for the shoes? More string. Can I make string? How much string do I need? Two string. I can make string. Okay. Rags. Yeah, wait, wait. where have they gone? In my backpack? How do I wear them? Oh, equip. Right click and equip. 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 Oh, that my old one, is it? Physical resistance zero, magical resistance zero. Where's my character? How can I see what this is? Physical resistance 17, magical resistance 17. That's 11 and 11. And that's two and two. Status details. Okay. Tributes. Oh, you have to look. Okay. So I can't build a grappling hook yet, so I'm guessing I have to work out how I've got to do that. Let's 
assuming that'll let me get over there then. And find out what's up there. Okay, so it wants me to go through the shroud, which was over this way. Path down there by the looks of it. Is there anything in here worth taking? Well, I can sleep there. Um, shelter. <laughs> Lazy bugger. Okay, what's here? Anything in here? Oh, it was a glowy thing. Another bed. Get away from the bed. On a uh, chest. It's a glowy thing. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us this past two days. Attack from the bridge. Their eyes such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I have ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. No more pages. Okay. And more arrows. Can I make a Can I make a bow? Crafting, I remember I'm crafting V. Weapons, shield, club, shield, can I make a shield? Yeah. Can I equip it? Yep. Yeah, oh, there we go. How do I repair my weapon now? We'll salvage it. We'll repair it. Hmm, I'm a bit worried that's going to break soon. I've got a sword somewhere, haven't I? Let's bring this, you know, let's just swap my weapon for now. Right, let's see what's down this path. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to run into the shroud down here. There's another glowy thing. Oh, another chest. So the health potion, that's good. I'm going to swap that at my... Let's swap them over, so at least I've got it to hand. What does this one say? Captain's Journal, Day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connections to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cindervold and those within it are safe, and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in a horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkwright. Oh, another torch. Okay. Nothing else there. Whoa! What the hell was that? I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to run. Is there anything we do to buff ourselves? What does that give us? Plus 15 stamina recharge. Oh yeah, it's the stomach. There we go, it's the stomach's at the top right there. Yeah, top left there. Anything else? That gives us health regeneration. Okay, let's uh, stay on the path. Let's the shroud. Shrouds can take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. bubbling away that what's that sigil ring of the elder god plus eight stamina plus ten health what is that the hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud okay it's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory so okay so 
Once I use that, it's gone. I've got no idea which I'm meant to be going now. Let's use that, because I'm going to... Oh yeah, there we go, it's replenishing me. Which way am I going to go? Straight on to follow the path, didn't it? Let's just continue following the path. Looks like we're going up, hopefully back out the shroud. Oh, looks like we're going up there, and it? That's... Going this way? Is it going to go around? Ooh, I don't like the look at this. Let's carry on up. Oh, out the shroud there. Can I get up here? Oh, there we go. Where am I going? There's still miles to go. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, that's a bridge. To the end of the bridge. Can I take his... Oh, my God. It's a shame. Where was I going? This way. 160 meters ago. Let's get my soul back in my hand. I must say the game looks very nice. Um, I can't really see the link to Valheim. I mean, it does sort of look a bit Valheimish in places, but it, it is different. Uh, bushes can conceal you. When you're within them, press C to crouch and hide. Use them to sneak up on enemies. Which means there must be some enemies somewhere around here that I need to sneak up on. I'm just hanging around, doing nothing. I'm not really paying you any attention whatsoever. No, you're not having any of that, are you, mate? hurt me. Seven. Okay. That hurt. Another failure. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of the blindness was temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds, as if my life depended on it. It may well. A lot of going up, what's it there? More things to... Um, Eureka by the ancients have done it. Equilibrium. The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. They are dead, yet alive. The subject does not decay, is untouched by the course flow of time. A flame soul in the mortal body, Igni serves as proof. We can survive, we can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Balthazar. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about them. Just throwing some of them at that plug. Oh, I've broken my sword. I've got another one. Oh yeah, there we go. That was lucky. Okay, so uh, can I get down here? No, I think that's going to hurt if I go down there. I think I've got to go back down the ladder wherever it was. Oh, there we go. Just see it. Oh, 
Oh, bollocks, I didn't see him. Oh, that's it. If you get a tank destroyed by the looks of it, you stun them. That was better. What's that? Why do I get a feeling that's going to go bang? Because it doesn't look like a normal barrel. Oh yeah, there we go. You just need to get close enough. Anything worth nicking? Water. Now oh, can I drink water again? Water helped me, didn't it? So that the... Thing and that. No, it lasts a certain amount of time, okay. I'm guessing our guy's in here. Wow, they're a bit stingy with the levelling. Risk uh, strategy, throw a bomb at him. <laughs> Is there another one? Venture forth, it's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile and yet brimming with the potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype. The kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slip into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next Balthazar. Okay, so I'm guessing it's a damn. Um, we're going to be rescuing. Lockpick. Okay, can I build a lockpick? Oh yeah, there we go. Executioner's axe. Oh, that sounds a bit more meaty. Let's have a look at that. Can we equip that? Yeah, that was a ring we picked up. Okay. Oh, that looks a bit better. Actually, hold on. That might be good for smashing things, but I've got a feeling that's going to be better for general attacks. Summon the survivor. Okay. How does some. You revived the survivor. Place them in your home with the summoning stuff. Okay. Anything else worth nicking in here? Lots of noises in here. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening the map, navigate the map with the eye, and select your home. Oh, I can press M. Oh, there's a dog outside. Is this where I came in? Oh yeah, yeah, it's dark outside. Travel home. Home. Fast travel. Okay, so you pop out your yeah. ash thing. Um, summon the source. I've got a. What did Tickle do? 
was the summoning stuff. Uh, oh, summoning stuff. There we go. Tweaks. Okay. Tab. Already summoning stuff. Uh, oh, he's a big bloke. Oh, it's just because he's on there. Okay, let's just bring him out here. Hi! At long last I return. I am humbled blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare you for what's to come. So can I actually build anything? I mean, that's the only part of the game is you might be able to build bases and things. So let's just... Crafting. What can I actually build? Work a oh, workbench? What does a workbench let me do? Craft blocks, new items, and repair broken equipment. Ah, okay. The workbench can only be placed inside the area of the flame holder. So let's build one of them. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Place that. We don't need that for the moment. Let's place that by our altar. Construction hammer. Hammer of the ancients, an archaic building tool fueled by the flame, capable of quickly erecting various structures around your home. Can only be used within the range of the flame altar. Okay, so I need one stone for that. This is where all these things are cheap. Okay, so six. Tab in and mine uh, building mode. Okay. Um, oh, so what have I got there? Alt more shapes. Oh, okay. All right. You press Alt and roll the wheel to move it down through the list. Um, without pressing Alt, it just goes backwards and forwards through the list. So what can I actually build? What do I need to build these things with? 1 meter squared, 2 meter squared, 4 meter squared. Craft blocks at the workbench. What am I missing? What do I need to build it? Materials, it's going to say. Okay, let's... Uh, rough stone blocks. Times 100. Let's start the one backpack. Have I got? Can I drop that. Don't need. I've got better um, clothing on me. So let's try again. Rough wooden block. Got more wood, so let's just. Build ten of them. In inventory, one thousand. Okay. So now my ah, now it's blue. I've been building those. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Tell you what, let's build it. Oh, that's how many blocks. Ah, uh, see, so we've got eight hundred and eight. It'll take sixty-four. Right. Okay. Let's just start for something a bit smaller. Three by three, say. Right, walls. Build a door. I got the door. Let's build an R to rotate 90 degrees. See how I'm going to snap. So, build a door there. Window. Window. Oh, wrong button. That one. That's normal walls. How am I doing for blocks? I'm nearly out of blocks. Yeah, I'm out of blocks. 
Okay, let's go back to this. Um, rough blocks. Thick wall. That building's fairly simple by the looks of it anyway. So, how do I. Is a roof. Roof. That let me build a roof. So, what material do I need? Is there something specific I need for a roof? Hey! Ah, roof blocks, plant fiber roof block. Okay. Uh, no slot available. Let's see if I can drop something then. Um, delete that. Right now, can I build my roof, please? Six. Ten. It's very dark in here. I can't see all that roof's in the right place. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So that's right, that's... Fiber. Oh, I've got half a roof. <laughs> no, I'm go. Oh, what have I done there? How did I do that? Have I just destroyed my wall? Right click to remove, okay. Let's see. Um, um, I want some light in here, other than the you know, the open air light. Can I build some torches, anything like that? So, except Bando Jack's campfire. Campfire, no, didn't build it because I'm going to be space in my backpack. Oh. I need to be able to put something somewhere. Hey! Yeah, shut up, you. Illumination. Candle. Okay, I've still got to space in my backpack. Windows, doors, five beds, grappling. Oh, grappling hook. There's a grappling hook. Shrouds, I've got all that. Glider, I've got, I've got some of it. Oh, fireplace, it's stone. Let me go get some stuff. There's stone around here, I'm sure. That should be enough. Place. Storage. Right, what we've we got here? Small magic chest. Nails. String and twigs. So string, I do need some string. I 
Let me put my fireplace down. Um, no, not that one. You can go there. Four. Oh, I'll cook. What can I cook? Place food in your action bar, select it and press the left mouse button to cook. Oh, okay. Just cook all these on This is a bit like Valheim. So the stomachs. So so far everything's fairly simple, the building's fairly simple. You just need the uh, materials. Can't cook that, I'm assuming I can cook that. Well, it's taking a bit longer. Rested 10 minutes, sitting warm, comfortable, level 5. Okay, so it's just been good for me, obviously, being sat here in front of the fire. Now, how do I get away from the fire? I just moved, okay. Now, string. Can I build some string? The string, 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 but only for string. Plant fibre. Okay, I need to get some plant fibre. I think I need a three string attempt for the chest. I'm going to build the chest on this. Go tiny chest. Oh, it's not that tiny. Um, let's stick it over here in the corner. Right. Oh, there's a fair few spaces in it. Let's get rid of some of this junk then. Um, Oh, there's my campfire. Okay. <laughs> Should have put that down earlier. That's cleared some space out. Now, what does this do for me? One plus one constitution. Lasts for 20 minutes. Plus two intelligence lasts for 20 minutes. They're better, so. They were much less than that before, so they were like five minutes. Okay. Right. Roof time. Hey! Is he going to keep shouting hey at me? How much fire do I need? Um, Tab to build. Find the roof. Four meter one, but I must need a cap. Oh, ah, there we go, perfect. Right, tap, there we go. We're now in this building. There's not much in here. Can I pick this up, bring it in? Rather than running out all the time. He pick up. Yeah, it's in my inventory. I take it. So you can go over here. Can I move matey boy from outside? Tab ready. Oh yeah, looks like I can move him. Stick him over there at the way. Yeah, good in corner for now. Hey! Okay, what else can I build? Um, beds, okay, I need string. So I've got enough plant fibre for that. Uh, torn cloth, I've got plenty in my inventory, but 
Um, as a first start, guys, uh, I think this is quite a good game, actually. Um, I wanted to just literally scratch the surface. I didn't do much more than this previously. I, I literally just got through the, the cavern initially and had a quick look around over there, and that was about it. So, a lot of this is new to me. Um, it does remind me a little bit of Valheim, the way you're building your base and things, and your stomachs, but the game is, seems quite a bit different. Uh, I'm quite enjoying it so far. So for a first look, I think that's pretty good. Would I recommend this? I think I would, actually. Uh, I think it's on early access on Steam. That's a little bit of my building, by the looks of it. I don't know if you can take a building with you, whether you can move it or not. I haven't got that far yet. I know I've seen sort of images of people with huge buildings in other places rather than on this bit of flat ground here. Yeah, for a first, go uh, first look, I think it's pretty good. This looks like it's going to be a turn of good game. Obviously, you can upgrade all your weapons. You've just seen by talking to your blacksmith. He keeps shouting me through the window. That you can um, upgrade your um, armor and things. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave comments below. If you like what I've done, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time. Strong Fly Gamer, wishing you. A good night.